so much smoke, you gotta crack a window up in here. This is Sick Flow, and you now dumbing out with the hottest DJ on the planet. I see you, Miss Kelly Kales. Turn that up. It's your girl, French and Hell. Check out my girl, Kelly Hi, Kales, Josh. on Lip Gloss and Mike every Friday night at 11 p.m. Yes, there was a problem with the button a minute ago, but we're good now. We're good. And, um, you know, I'm terrible as a DJ, and I just did two shows back to back, and now I got this one, okay? And I'm really excited about this one because, again, I apologize for last weekend, but um, I needed, okay, to get this interview because um, I'm really impressed with this artist. She's awesome, okay? And um, it's just crazy. It's just crazy, all right? So I want you all to listen to No DD. Okay, no da da. Okay, and then we're gonna be back with Jody Laylack because I'm gonna get her on the air while uh, y'all check this out. Okay. Why you coming over? Forgetting to call you, you know, what I'm saying so. I'm like, oh, hold on, I gotta like stop this and pause this so I can, you know, get Jody on the air because I was just like sitting here, no, da, 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 you know, and yeah, I just totally lost it. So, how are you? Yeah, I am good. I'm so happy that you like the song. Yeah, I love it. I don't even remember how I found it, where I found it, but it was just, it came up and I put it into rotation and people, I, I just, I like it. I really like the vibe to it. I love all of it. So I said, I got to find out who she is, you know what I mean? So it was like, and I started researching, saw you on Instagram and um, that was it. And I apologize for last weekend, um, yesterday, and it's just been a mess with me being sick. And I, I'm so behind because I have all these interviews and 
Oh, but it's going to be okay. It's a good thing. Um, all right. So tell That's me, okay. tell me a little bit about your yourself. Comfort. Huh? Uh, okay. It's okay. Your health comfort. Right. I know. I know. But it still, it puts you, you know what I mean? It, it kind of puts you off a little, you know what I'm saying? You're just like, okay, now I'm going to get back into this and um, I'm still not feeling right. So it's like you want to put, you know, you want to get everything focused again. So tell me a little bit about yeah. you though, because I know, you know, I, I, I didn't realize you were from Jamaica. I mean, I could tell your voice and stuff, but I didn't realize like you came over here to go to school and everything, you know? So tell me about growing up in Jamaica a little bit, just so you could take me there, you know? Growing up in Jamaica, I, well, I was born and I grew up in Jamaica until I was 15, then I moved to New York. Um, growing up in Jamaica, I grew up with my grandmother, actually. Oh, and okay. And it was, yeah, it was just church every Sunday, then church every Saturday, then school. And I was a bookworm. I still am a bookworm. So it was more like I was introduced to music through the buses that I would take to go to school. And... With that, that introduced me to a whole different variety of music because it was like cultural music, then it's dancehall, and then it's, it's, it's cha, and it's just a whole different type. And then when I moved to New York, that just opened up to a rock and pop and alternative music, and it was like, my mind was blown. So I was like, oh my gosh, there's so many different possibilities. And I already loved music, already loved singing since I was a baby. So all this all of this is just meant for me to do it, you know? Right. And, and you know what's crazy about it all is we just talked about this on the last interview I had with an artist um, out of East Coast, and he's been around forever. And um, it's, it's so crazy because you had that, like he did, he got to travel. You know, he's from New York. He got to travel overseas in the U.K. and everything. And now you're telling me from Jamaica and traveling here and all the different genres that you have opened up to and seen and heard and i've seen that you know that you had electronic the r&b and that explains it all why you're the type of artist just just the the look that you have is different you know what i mean the 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 vibe yeah. in your music is different yeah i i even lived in japan for like four years and oh wow to a lot of different countries and everything so it was just like Hello, world. <laughs> right, right. I'm like, here. here I am. Teach me. Yeah, yeah. that is like, so teach awesome. Teach me everything. So I absorbed all of that and just, you know, being creative, it comes out my way. Absolutely. Now, how did I did know... How did No D.D. come? Like, how did, how do you say it, actually? It's not just No D.D. Because I know in a song it doesn't sound like that. It's like No... No D.D. Probably... Yeah, it's probably your accent, too, and the music that makes it stand out even more than what I can. You know what I mean? But um, it was just yeah. so colorful and so vibing. And so, like, I could take that as, like, a chill song, just doing work, too. And I can even hear it in the club. You know what I mean? I can hear it, like, riding down the beach and you just want to be silly. Like, there's just so much behind it. And I love and admire how yeah. you also know other types of music. You know, a lot of people are closed-minded when it comes to the different genres, you know? So That's I true. found that awesome with you because um I I'm I'm like that too. Music's my passion. I love music, but I've been I've worked with all different kind of music. So um being on tour with like heavy metal and Ozfest and corporate and it was just crazy to hear all this other kind of music that I grew up on hip hop. You know what I'm saying? So it was like crossing yeah. into something different. So where did the idea come up with with? that song, the you know, single that you're pushing, the Naughty D, how did it, because I noticed you were on a radio tour with it too, so you're really exposing this single. Yeah, um, how did No D come about? Um, so this was recorded in my room, <laughs> it's crazy, um, I made the beat, and then while writing, I, I was writing a completely different song to the beat, and while I'm just sitting there, just vibing to the beat with the mic and everything, it's just a scenario came into my, actually, I was being annoyed by um, a guy that I knew, and it's just like, he wouldn't get it through his, his thick skull that no means no. Right, no, so, like no. Like, <laughs> exactly, so I, I, I started writing everything that I, I wanted to say to him, and the song came out like that. When I finished um, writing the first verse, and the, the hook, I started, I just literally bust out laughing. Like, oh my gosh, this is awesome. Let's keep going. <laughs> That's why in, like, the, the, the bridge, there's a, a laughing section. That was me literally laughing at the whole thing. 
Yeah, and you know what's funny yeah. is now that you explain it, you know, and I know what's behind it, I can see laughing through that. You know what I mean? I can see, like, and, and like I said, it's like a fun song. You know what I mean? You can yeah, tell right off the bat that it's, it's fun, you know? It's fun, but at the same time, it's telling you, leave me alone. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, you know, we can have fun and all this, but leave me alone. So that, that's a good message, too, to put out there. And yeah. um, it, it, like I said, if you ever seen the cover, if y'all haven't seen the cover... Go check out, you know, her IG, all um, her Twitter, her, you know, all her social networks. You'll see the cover. It's very, um, it's it's her, and she's done up very nicely. May I add, she's a very pretty woman, and she's on this like, you know, floaty that you would put in the pool, but everything's bright, like bright colors. You know what I mean? And checking yeah. out her IG, you can see like she's full of life. You know what I mean? Just scroll down her IG, and you can see she's she definitely loving what she's doing. So. Now that you're in New York now, have you already graduated or you're still in school? I graduated last March. Oh, yes, awesome. I graduated with my master's last March. Awesome, awesome. So you definitely stayed in the music thing. Um, Have you traveled a lot with music? Not yet, but I am. About I, I can't wait till I actually get to travel the world doing music. It's, it's honestly, it would be a dream come true. Yeah, see, and I think. And, and I'm, I agree. I totally agree. I don't even if you don't get to travel the whole world, but just overseas and different countries and you've already been to Japan, you already got you know what I mean? So just just everywhere that you can get up. Everywhere, yes. Definitely. I can't wait till it brings me back to Japan where I'm like performing. I'm like, Oh my god, yeah <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I lived here for a couple of years down here. This is my music. Now, are you gonna put that into an E P with other songs or are you just holding off for yes. a while? Okay, because you already yes, have the um, videos. Yes, I have to see. Well, my mic and my computer not in the studio, <laughs> but um, there's a, a EP coming out in February called "This Is Forever." It has seven songs. Well, one's the intro, so basically six and a half songs. Awesome. I call it seven songs because seven is my favorite number. So and, I and I think know. that's a beautiful number because it, it should be like not you know, 13 to 25 songs. It should be like, you know, like the old, I don't know out there, but we had um the maxi singles that would have like five, four songs on them. You know what I mean? And I think it's just so yeah. easier to brand a hit single, you know, brand a couple of those singles off of that, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So the next one is going to be dropping in February. So uh, I was, Telling you, like, hey, you're asking, hey, where's the next single? I'm like, don't worry, it's coming. Yeah, because I was lost for a minute. I'm like, I wanted to play two of your songs, you know what I mean? So uh, it's okay, though, yeah. because um, I just, I, I was like, hmm, I wonder if she got, because I want to get something up there with it, you know? So I said, that's cool, though, because we're yeah. pushing this, you know, you're pushing this single. And then when you told me, nope, the next one's dropping, I'm like, wow, okay. And February's an awesome month to have it drop anyway, so... Um, I think, you yes. know, you can carry on with the no DD. So when did you start doing music? I noticed you mentioned that, you know, you grew up with your grandmother and you went to church, school, church. So let me guess, I'm sure you changed, you know, you you changed and you sang in the choir and, and you did stuff at school with music too. Like, was music part of you way back then too? Uh, yes. Um, when everyone found out that I could sing at the church, I would be, well, a part of the choir, and then there would be impromptu solos from me. And while walking through the pew, I'm like, oh, crap, what am I going to sing? What am I going to I don't know what I'm going to sing. And by the time I get up there, pick a song, and it's fun. <laughs> oh, wow. So that, you just, like, would come up yeah. with it. That is so crazy. Yeah. so it's like, I would always have to be ready because it's like, oh, we'll have a song by Jody. Wait, did you talk to Jody about? No, you didn't. Okay, guess Jody singing the song. All right. <laughs> oh wow. So it, it was always it was always like that until I started hiding outside, but it did always catch me. <laughs> oh wow. Yes, so what I'm about? Singing. Now, all right, so that's your part with the church and everything. Now, school. Now that you went to college and everything, did you do anything to do with music at college as well? Yes, I never actually stopped doing music. Um, when I was doing my undergraduate, um, I that's when I started going into the studio to learn my sound and, and, and build from that and get used to recording and listening to myself. And that was a whole weird experience. And certain things that I couldn't get in the studio, as soon as I got home, I got it like, bam! And it's like, what? Why couldn't I do that there? But now it's like, 
all of that was just, you know, filling blocks to what I can create and do now. And all of that, I had to go through all of that, record in, like, studios that were literally in closets and actual studio, studio where it's like, oh, it's like fake productions and everything. And it's all of that where it's basically filling blocks. Oh, wow. All right, so how, yeah. now, when you did this no DD and, you know, you, you, you're going to be traveling. Now, the radio, have you done a lot with that? Because I noticed you said it was a radio tour, so did you get to, you know, go to at least different states? The, um, we still have a few more spots um, to, to stop in on, on the, the radio tour. Because, you know, the holidays and everyone's right, going on vacation right. and everything. So and usually January... Yeah, January, yeah. everybody's January, trying to catch everybody's up. everybody's on vacation. <laughs> yeah. That's, yeah. That's... So right now, we're um, still just getting a couple of people together where we can say, okay, we're hitting the south, and I can just go from there. But good, good, I believe, good. and I'm putting it out there, manifesting it, so it comes right back. I, 2019 will be a great, great year. I do too. I really, I, I think it is too. And it started off great. And then, um, you know, I'm not going to let this get me behind because I'm just going to fight through it like I always do. But um, it's, it's, you know, I really think it's going to be a good year too. What else do you have lined up for 2019? Hopefully, I um, go on tour. I'm definitely going to um, be doing more shows and everything. So, who knows? Maybe I'm coming to your town too. Right, right, and you'll have to get up with me and let me know <laughs> so I can go see yes. you. So how do you, um, as far as, you've done shows in New York, right? I have. Okay, because I thought I saw I've a picture of something. Yeah, I've done shows with um, a full band, and I've done shows with just the track. Um, and, or I've done shows with just a, a guitar player, and those were just like really intimate shows that I, I love I love performing absolutely love it I get anxious when I don't perform it's like oh my gosh when's the next time I'm gonna perform it's just, I love being in front of people and I, I love it <laughs> so let me ask you this then since you love performing I was reading something earlier today I don't know where I've seen it, but it was something about artists performing and artists recording in a studio that there's such a big difference that artists don't realize. You know what I mean? They feel like, you know, some people think that, oh, they're the same. But when people are in a studio, it's kind of like way different than when you're performing live. You're feeling it when you perform live. Like you're going through a whole different... Explain that to me, because I mean, I read it and I understood what it was saying. And now it kind of makes sense, because I'm always asking artists why they want to perform live. You know, I mean, I understand you want the presence and all that and, and how you perform and people want to see you perform. But, I mean, it's also, from what I gather, artists have a feeling with it, too. Yeah. It's, um, all right. For, say, for that song, right? Yeah. Um, if you're in that state of mind while recording the song in the studio, it's, sometimes, if, if you're not very comfortable with the engineer or the producer that you're working with, it's harder to get that emotion and everything out of you. But because you're in the studio and you probably have three, four hours booked and everything, you have time to do it over and do it over and you get it right. Oh. And with a, live, with a live show now, it's just you have to be in that state of mind and bring that emotion and everything from the first note that you did. So for some people, for some artists and everything, performing live is very intimidating because it's like, okay, I have to do this all over again. I have to be back in that state of mind where I was really sad and didn't want to do anything and anything. I have to go back into that, hold on to that, use that emotion to bring it to the crowd where they can stay also and feel it. And then once you realize that the crowd is vibing towards that type of emotion that you're exuding, it's an amazing feeling to be like, yes, I'm not the only person who feels like this. I understand, they understand me and we're going to get to it. So that's, it, it's a healing process when you really perform live. 
Wow, I I could feel that though. I could see that because um I don't I don't think I ever really understood it. And um some of the artists I've worked with, they would try to explain it to me like it's just different kills, and I'm like. I said, but how? Like, you're doing the same song, and they're like, nah. It's just the whole presence. And like you said, when they're in a the studio, sometimes, you know, you, of course you can stop it whenever and rewind it and, and do whatever. It's just a whole different mojo, you know what I mean, than when you're live and you're doing that song. Yeah. So um, who are some of your influences in music? Uh, influences. Bob Marley. Definitely, definitely. Um, Amy Whitehouse. Uh, wow! All right, all right. I love her too. That, that's crazy. Yeah, that's that's. That, I think she's a lot of females. Um, I I worked with another artist back in the day, and she was out of New York, and she did a lot of live stuff with bands and things like that. Amy Winehouse was one of her favorites, still till today. That's crazy. Yes, yes. Um, she makes things in so effortless. It's just like, how do you do that without looking like you're into it? Right. Amazing. Right. And I love how she crossed um, over and, and she got into the hip hop too. And you know what I mean? Like she just, she was a very open minded person. I think that's what I loved about her. Yes. Definitely. Yes. So. She wasn't scared to speak her mind. Yeah, definitely. Now, what? You had mentioned alternative and rock. So, what do you know about alternative and rock? Like, what groups did you, you know what I'm saying? Kind of like listen to or like or. Um, rock. I was. That band name always slipped me, but um, I would listen to Blink 182, um, well, Green Day now. All right, so um, like the early grunge. Yes, yes. And, yes. and they were very popular. Um, Blink 182, I worked with um, at House of Blues. Nice. Yeah, I miss all that. Trust me, I miss all that. Um, but I, I love what I do now, too, you know, so. But um, so what are some of the things you want in the future? I know you want to travel everywhere in the world. You know what I mean? Are we gonna look at this second single as being as vibrant? What what's the second single about? Give me like a clue, like a, a little hint, a tease. What what it's gonna be like? All right, the second single is called "Give Me What I Want." Uh oh, and she went from no to "Give Me What I Want," girls. You know, <laughs> right? <laughs> Awesome. I awesome. don't need you, so I'm going to do it. And, so and I think that's give me good. What I want is, Definitely yeah, good. Because most people depend on people who they realize who they think is gonna help but in turn actually pull them back. Right. So you have to realize that sometimes you have to take things in your own in your own hands and move forward. Absolutely. And, and um that's very encouraging what, too. What I want. Very encouraging, a very encouraging message, and um, I think that's that's good right now. The world could use that, and um, so can't the states use that. Now, do you plan on traveling like this summer? Maybe trying to get some, because I still say No D would do it so good at all these outdoor events. Yes, but yes, I do. I'm um, trying to hit up all of the festivals and everything that I can get on, and that I can book me even if it's for five minutes or two minutes i'll just do the song and get off <laughs> but yeah absolutely I'm, I'm trying to be everywhere and that and that's something you know a lot of people don't realize like the further you go the more you're heard you want to be heard everywhere you don't want to be just heard in your yeah. local state or you know and, and a lot of indie artists i've noticed you know they don't they don't want to be tied to a leader you know as far as a label or anything like that they want to get this on their own and I never tell you you can't do it, but you also got to get your name out there because without a following, without a fan base, you ain't going to have nothing. Yeah. Um, yeah all right, so I don't, I don't want to keep you long, long, plus my voice is starting to go. But um, what, give me some advice for these indie artists that, did it, that weren't fortunate enough to travel so far in between and learn, like, different things yet, but... As far as what you would tell them to keep going. I mean, you're already sending a positive message just with your album and with the two singles off of it. You know what I mean? That It sounds like it's going to be like a really good theme line to it. What would you tell indie artists now that are struggling? Don't give up on your craft. 
believe in yourself and if you if you're doubting yourself it's other people's doubt that you're putting on yourself so don't don't stop believing in yourself yeah don't don't stop believing in yourself don't do that and don't like she said it's it's usually somebody that that's putting that on you or you don't want to it's usually that energy get rid of it block it you know if you can't yeah, get rid get, of it get block rid of it all the negative energy. yep Keep I keep a sage stick and just you know or just some kind of good smelling stuff. Take two minutes of breathing, do a little bit of meditation, you know. And I know a lot of people have different things about meditation, but like I always use that as my personal time. With... Oh, I I love meditation. It it centers you so much. Exactly, and it, and it makes you focus. It makes you focus. And I notice every time I stray away from it, I get unfocused. My life gets crazy. You know what I mean, and and I'm not I'm not this big meditation guru. You know what I mean. I but I I mean just just five minutes. You know you can start off with three minutes, and and it'll get longer. Yeah. You know what I mean, and you'll feel better, and things will start to unfold in you, and you'll just really really be in touch with you. You know, um, and yeah. her music, like I said, you got to check out the Noti D song. It's playing on so many stations. Um, call and request in your local. You know, call and request it. They're like, oh, I haven't heard that. Tell them about it. You know what I mean. Introduce them because there's yes, so much out call there. Everyone. Yeah, there's so much out there, and you know you really have to you you have to just broaden your mind, and a lot of people don't. Um, tell everybody your social networks too, so people can follow you and how they can get a hold of you. You can catch me on Instagram, on Twitter, on Facebook at Jody Lilac. That's J O D Y L E Y L A C, and say hello. Absolutely, and you can Google her too. As soon as you Google her, she pops up, and um, you'll be able to go to I'm her right jodylaylat dot com. Right? You also have yeah. your own web because I remember going there, and um, you'll you'll see. And like I said, once you see, you're gonna be like, wow. She, you can tell right away. She's gonna, she's got this. I, I really wish all good things for you, and I hope you get to travel the world. Thank Just you. send that same energy to me because I want to travel too. <laughs> I was thinking, like, you know, all these to you. yeah, it used to be like, you know, I'm okay with just going to Hawaii or going here, but now I want to hit Brazil. I would love to oh, go no. to Japan. You everywhere. know what I mean? Yeah, I, I mean France. Yeah. There's just so so much I would I, I want to go to, and I'm not even an artist, but it's like I I know it'll be somewhere in the music field that that's where I'll be there. You know what I mean? Um, just being around music is, is one thing, but being on a whole elevation like that. It's very good. Um, I wanted to say, was anybody else in your family before we go? Like, were they into music too, or just you? Um. Well, my dad likes to play a lot of, of music. Like, he has the, the sound system where if he turns on the music, probably like three miles down the road, you're hearing it <laughs> That's so. a good thing. That's a good thing. Yeah, he likes to say that he got the whole, I got the whole music thing from him, so <laughs> I probably did. That's funny. Now, your grandmother, that must have been a big influence, too, and did she like your music and support it? She sings. Um, well, oh, wow. It's, yeah, she does sing. She was always in the um, the choir and doing solos and everything, so I, I feel like I kind of got some of that talent from her, because she has a beautiful voice. Oh, but wow. um, she just she she likes the fact that I'm doing music and everything, but she prefers it to be Christian music. Right. So, yeah. <laughs> That's okay though, and I mean, I, it does show that you had a lot to do. Maybe you'll come out with like a a type of gospel song in the future. What's a typical day for Jody Laylat? Um, wake up, work out. I have to work out. Well, actually, meditate first, then go work out. Come back and work on my to-do list of a million things that I have to do. Maybe do a photo shoot. Sometimes I do it myself. Sometimes I actually get a photographer to do it. And if it's done certain days I'll do um, a cover video and well, normal stuff if I'm not on the road promoting music oh wow I, I, I'm, a, I'm a gym junkie so I have to work out you know 
keep the creative juices flowing. Oh wow. That is that is so cool though, because like you keep your motivation going and I mean I'm sure being in the gym that, that helps out too, keep you focused and strength wise and you know that woo woo. Now wanna um shout out to everybody that you got shout outs for and you know all that good stuff. Shout out. I'd like to shout out my best friend for always being there when I get all crazy and lose my mind. <laughs> <laughs> and they, they, they truly keep me grounded. Too. And um, we're walking on the streets of New York right now. My laces just got pulled and one of them just literally tied it. <laughs> <laughs> I know it sounds like y'all are having a good time. I'm jealous that y'all in New York, you know. At least you got the nightlife there. It's, I do love the hustle and the bustle of the city. It, it, it's something that calms me down, which is weird, because a lot of people is like, no, I hate the city. But for me, the complete opposite. I, I just calm down when I'm in the city. Just like, I'm the same way. Ooh, yeah, I'm, I I had to yeah. move down south. And um, let me tell you, what a big culture shock for me. And I'm from the city, you know what I mean? And I, I still now, till this day, 15, 16 years I later, I have to sleep with, like, the, the fan on, try to have a wind, you know what I mean? Like all the noises that I could have back home because I just wasn't used to how quiet it was and I didn't want to hear no crickets and frogs and I was like, no, I'm used to hearing like people and music and cars and like this is crazy, you know, it's still to this day. I'll have to go to Spotify and pick a sound. Nice. But you see, I'm the opposite of that because I grew up with the crickets and the frogs. Right, right. I like the quietness. Yeah, see, and, and that's that's funny though that how you both you know what I mean because I'm gonna say for me I miss the city like I could sleep better in the city than I do here, it's just weird, I don't know. Oh, see, I love that. Hear that? <laughs> All right. Well, I wanted to say thank you for taking time out of your your night, and um, it sounds like y'all having a great time, and I appreciate you doing the interview. Definitely rocking with you. You know what I mean? I'm gonna keep the song in rotation. Send me that new one. Cause um I, I'm 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 really loving it. Thank you for having me. This this has been amazing. So thank you. <laughs> you're very thank welcome. Thank you for reaching out to me. <laughs> oh, you're welcome. Like I told you, we laid back. So I just I went with the flow, and I just really want everybody to hear you. So don't forget, everybody, go check her out. You know, call your station, your local station, whatever station you want. Check her out on Spotify. You're so you're on Spotify, right? Yes, yeah, I was going to say, because I've been forward. listening to what you sent me, and I, I didn't have a chance to, like, go check it out, and um, I haven't been out lately, so, um, but I'm so glad that, you know, you're doing your thing, and keep doing it, I'm glad you got all that from you, and like I said, you ever go touring around the world, make sure that, you know, you let me know so I can tune in and check out where you're at. Yes, thank you. You're welcome, and have a great weekend. Same to you. Bye-bye. Bye. All right, y'all, that was Jody Laylack, and we're going to let you hear her song one more time. Because, um, I know that at the beginning I had some buttons that were kind of messed up, and like I said, I apologize for the shows being on tonight and um, instead of yesterday, but you got me every day of the week, so if you don't catch it tonight, you'll know you'll hear it in some other state tomorrow or the next day. But um, shout out to all the stations again. Um, you know, we, we put, we try to keep everybody going and, um, we're really into the envy. Like I said, just, you know, excuse me. Um, I, I just got out of the hospital a couple of days ago, so I'm kind of like still on medication and not feeling 100, but, um, had to get these interviews done because there's such talent there and go check out No D by Jody Laylat. Um, you could tell she got that Jamaican rhythm in her, the reggaeton, the, the underlying pop, some R&B. I mean, her sound is just so exclusive and different than others. So make sure you go check her out. Um, you will hear, if you miss this interview, you will be able to hear it on all the other stations that I'm on. And it'll end on iHeart and Spotify. I have some more good news coming Um, I was asked a few days ago, which I said I would not do more than two stations live. But um, the commitment that this team has given me... 
and help building me, I couldn't say no when he asked. So I will be going live on a third station. I don't know how I'm going to get all these interviews, but um, it will be, stay tuned because it will be coming up. I'm already on the station. I just always did recaps, you know, but um, I think I'm going to do something different. I haven't really put it in my head yet, but stay tuned and um, get ready to check it out because I'm really excited about it. Um, I really haven't told anybody until right now. So um, I will be putting out the info to let you know where I'll be live. It's probably going to be, I want to stay on a Sunday night. So um, you'll have me live Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And then recaps Monday through Thursday. So um, y'all peace out. Don't forget, tune in. 258 Mafia. Tune in. Stop beefing. Tune in to all the stations I'm on. You know, check out my social media. You'll see all the places I'm at and you can follow. All right, y'all stay blessed. And uh, don't forget, I just heard a new song by an artist that I used to promote. And um, I love his music, you know, and, and he's hip hop. And, and I'm just going to tell you, there was one sentence he said of a song tonight to all the children, the girls and boys. Always follow your dreams because you'll never know. One day you can run the world. So make sure that, you know, just keep that positive motion going. No matter what's around you, don't let them block you.